Hey, what's going on? XD here back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mix vocals. Now, some say how to mix and master vocals, but you're not necessarily mastering vocals because when you're on the mastering stage, you're mastering a track as a whole. But I'm going to show you how to do that also in this video. So if you were asking about vocals, if you're wondering how to deal with vocals, this is going to be your video. So let's jump right in and let me show you how to begin the mix and you know how to get to the master so pay attention to all my steps and don't miss out on anything watch this video till the end so you make sure you don't miss out on any step because all these steps are crucial to getting the perfect mix and the perfect master to a track with vocals okay so this is a simple um recorded vocal with just a simple downloaded beat and some simple vocals so all you just have here is the instrumental the one that you see on top here and then you have um the chorus that is these um two blocks over here on top and then you also have the verse which is um these longer blocks that are going up here so we're just going to work on this section um the chorus uh up until um the verse so that's all we're just going to work with so firstly i'm just going to play it from here and i did nothing to these vocals they are raw they have done and edited i didn't even mix them i didn't even add any effects so they're just playing as is so let me play them back we got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Who you all you think is just the enemy, enemy? We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy. I be sipping on the Henny, two by Shakur, I make a belly, eating this, they stay in my belly. I love my food, I love my jelly. Okay, so very simple, very good uh, vocal projection from the rapper KB, the rapper. Shout out to him. So what I did firstly here was. Um, obviously censor out the curse words like i just used automation uh so it's basically the volume ducking down whenever he says a word that i wanted to cut out so that's how you actually can censor um a, a vocal to make a clean version so um I, I'll, I'll get in depth with that in other ways you can do that in another video but in this video we're mixing and remastering this track so firstly is you just need to send these to tracks so i already have these um these file sent to tracks i have number four and number five so my f number four is the main track like the the lead vocal that's the one that's on track number four so i can just rename this and say lead rap and then number five is my backup tracks so i'll just rename this to back up or ad libs if you want to call them that as well but i just like calling them backup so on my verse as well uh, i have my lead on number four and i have my backups on number five why i do this is because i want all my vocals to sound the same from the chorus into um into the verses and you know even in the intro i want them to sound the same i don't want them to sound different because if i place all my lead vocals like on the chorus and on the verse in different tracks you know it's going to be hard for me to to, to redo the same effects or make them sound different it's just going to sound like it's two different people so when it's in a simple track like this i just would rather have all of them in the one track so that i give them the same treatment same thing with the backups as well so that they get the same t treatment and the vocals throughout the whole track is consistent and you know is, is working nicely so firstly let's deal with the lead vocal let's just solo that and play and play it back we got the juice we got the juice we got the hennessy hennessy oh okay cool so what we have here is um the lead vocal with just um with just the you know the the normal sound with nothing else on it so what we want to do first is listen to um to kind of things to clean up you just the enemy enemy we got the hennessy hennessy so you can see the headphone bleed that we uh you know we really don't want in the track is there but it's going to be covered up by the beat but what do what we want to do first is gate out some of that noise especially when he finishes um when he stops rapping and when he finishes rapping like you see these spots in the middle here we need to cut those out so if we go into the channel that's number four there we go we have to add a gate and you can find a gate in um in a uh, fruity limiter that's where you find the gate You'll see there's noise gate over here so let me just loop a section where we can gate loop over here over there hennessy hennessy 
Enemy. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. So I'm gonna raise the threshold. Enemy. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. Lower the game. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the you Hennessy. Your ears starting to get choppy. Enemy. It means we got that the Hennessy, working. Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Enemy. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Enemy, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Enemy, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Enemy, so you have to finesse your gate and make sure that it's not um, cutting out parts that you want in, but it's cutting out everything else that you don't want, especially when he stops rapping. You know, it, it must tot- completely go silent and totally go quiet. And then when he starts rapping again, you hear him rap. So that's the point of this gating. So you have to take your time and really make sure that your gating settings are correct. I cannot give you uh, gate settings that are the best because vocals are always recorded at different levels. So you always have to do this all the time with each and every vocal you get and each and every recording that you get. So if you have your, your gate set properly. Enemy. We got the go Hennessy. Hennessy. Your vocals you- cleaned up. Then what you want to do next is um, look for an EQ, add your favorite EQ. I like to use parametric EQ. It's the easiest, you know, it's easy to use. Then I'm, I'm just going to start looking for uh, doing a frequency sweep. Enemy. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. So what I'm, what I'm going to do with the frequency sweep is I'm going to look for frequencies that, you know, that are coming across the sharpest. And I'm just going to try and turn them down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise like this number six over here. I'm going to raise it all the way up and then I'm just going to scroll and make it sharp like this. As you can see here. So if I can reset that, I can come over to this side and then I can just lower all of that and just raise it. And then what I want to do is I want to sweep for frequencies like this that are just overly loud. The frequencies that pop up is the ones that I want to lower a bit, not too much, but just slightly. Enemy, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the hen. Enemy, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. I don't like that frequency, so that's the one I'm just now gonna come and cut out a bit. Then I'll go to my next number five. And I'm just going to sweep it. Enemy. Again. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Okay, I don't like that one. So I'm going to drop it down a little bit. So you can keep going with this up until you, you, you get rid of most of the frequencies. You might not get all of them, but if you get most of them, then you've actually, you know, did some good cleaning. Enemy. Up on your we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. I don't like that one as well. Drop that one down. Enemy. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. Okay, one last time. Okay, that's not one I can use. I'm going to use this number four. I'm gonna enemy. The we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Enemy. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Enemy, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. Okay, I think that's okay for now. So now that I've cut out some of these frequencies that are problematic, then now I can get to my compression. Enemy, we got the Hennessy, so I'm Hennessy. Load you just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. So if I check my enemy, lead vocal, I we can got the see Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, here, enemy. We so got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. To minus maybe minus nine. Enemy, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Like you just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Lower Hennessy. Lower it a little bit more. Enemy, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Like around minus twenty-two. The thing with compression is, you wanna over exaggerate it first so that you can hear it working then you start to decrease your threshold up, up until you can barely hear it but you can hear the change from the original state of the vocal that's a basic tip on how you can you know get your your compression to a good level a- again i would give you a preset on compression but i doubt it will work for you because 
you know vocals are always different so you always have to find the sweet spot with each and every vocal that you're going to record in order to get uh, you know the perfect result so that's why it's hard for me to give you presets on these things because i know i'll be lying and at each turn you're going to need to have you know to tweak it on your own anyway so rather know how to do it from scratch than me giving you presets that are really not going to help you that that'll be just me cheating cheating you so that's the problem with this enemy we got the hennessy hennessy so if i want You're my vocals enemy, to be enemy. really tight and we snappy got the juice. i can lower my juice. threshold we got a the bit hennessy. more and then add a little bit more gain just to recover that gain reduction that it's you know that it's being done enemy we got the hennessy hennessy you just the enemy enemy we got the juice we got the juice we so now keep in mind that if if you didn't gate correctly and you still have some noise coming across uh, the compression that you're going to do is going to raise that back up. So the compression is actually going to tell you if you didn't actually do your gating right because it's going to raise that noise level again. You see, so always watch out for that and try not to over compress vocals up until they sound really boxy and really tight. Enemy. Unless we got the Hennessy, you Hennessy. You're just the enemy, enemy. So let me solo what I did right now first and s switch it on and switch it off so you can hear the difference. Enemy. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. So this is without enemy. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. And with enemy. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. There we go. Very subtle, but it's there. And that's the key with mixing and processing vocals. You don't want to do too much to the vocals, but you just want to add a little bit of, you know, sweetening to it. So now we can do some boosting in our EQ. So I'm going to add parametric EQ again. Enemy, we got the Hennessy, the Hennessy. Lows. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. So with vocals, you want to cut everything from around a hundred hertz going down to uh, twenty hertz because you don't need that information. You don't want all that bass in someone's voice. And then you want to boost a little bit of the enemy. highs as well. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. And you want to cut out some enemy. of the boxiness. Enemy, we got the Hennessy, the Hennessy. The you just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. And then the enemy, here, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. To give his voice more presence over the beat because this beat is very, very powerful. So now we did that. Now we can play it back with the, with the beat. Enemy, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Enemy, we got the Hennessy, we got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Who you all you think you just the enemy, enemy? We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Cool. Now what we want to do at this point is add a de-esser. A de-esser is gonna soften out the s's that are in this vocal that are really powerful, that are really you know ear piercing. So that's what we want to get rid of. Um, I think we get a de-esser in Maximus. There we go. Uh, we can do a split band and see how that works. You can try the narrow band as well. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the Hennessy. Hennessy. Who you all you think you just the enemy? Enemy. We got the Hennessy. Hennessy. You just the enemy. Enemy. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the Hennessy. Hennessy. Try the other one. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Who you all you think you just the enemy, enemy? We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Who you all you think you just the enemy, enemy? We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. Okay, so this is with. We got the juice, we got the juice. This is without. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the Hennessy. So you can hear already there's a difference. The S's are slightly, you know, uh, controlled. They're not coming up. So they're not coming uh, uh, across in a sharp way. You can use any de um plugin that you like. I, I was used to use the Spitfish de -esser. That's also a good one. Or the um, Fab Filter de -esser. That's also a good one to use as well. I think it's called Fab Filter de -s. I haven't installed it back yet, but... I, I know I have it. We got the juice. We but then this DSing, you can also throw it on your master bus because all these vocals are on a master bus. So I just throw it on my uh, vocal master instead of just the one vocal because I wanna, you know, uh, I wanna treat all, you know, the my vocals with this DSer and kill all the instead of DSing each and every vocal. So now we can move to the backup. Now what I wanna do with the backup is I wanna give it the same treatment as the lead vocal. But they're only going to have, you know, a, a slight difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
save mix a state as and I'll just say main vocals and save that and then when I come here to back up I can just load that preset here main vocals and then boom all the stuff is over here so the only difference I want to do with these uh, backup vocals is I'm gonna I'm gonna loosen the threshold a little bit just to make the vocal you know a bit more loose and I'm gonna raise the threshold a little bit more you know just make sure the compressor is not compressing too much and then I'm gonna lift the bass again and I'm gonna just lower the highs and everything so I just want to give the backups you know a, a little a little bit more boominess and give it a different texture from the um, the lead vocal you know so that's just what I want to do with these vocals so now okay, I think I also said lead rap yeah okay, let me see back up we got the juice we got the juice we got the Hennessy Hennessy who you all you think you're just the enemy enemy we got the Hennessy Hennessy you just the enemy enemy we got the juice we got the juice we got the Hennessy Hennessy okay so what I want to do first now in mixing is I want to lower the volume of the backup. I don't want it to be too low, but I want you to hear it when it comes in. But it shouldn't be too distracting and overpower the lead the lead vocal of this of this chorus. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Who you all you think you're just the enemy, enemy? We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Okay, that's cool. That sounds like it's a good place. And then what I want to do lastly is add um, is add a, a vo is add a splitter like kind of a stereo separation to it. So most people usually use this knob over here and just separate like this, but I don't like doing that. I like to use um, the FL Studio um, stereo enhancer. If I can find where that is, squeeze. Where's the stereo enhancer? Where are you? Squeeze delay bank on Volver. What is this thing? Okay, there we go. Stereo enhancer. Boom. There it is. Then I'm gonna use the four strings. Preset. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the Hennessy. Hennessy. Okay, I actually used it on the wrong plugin. Delete that. There's the backup. Where is it again? Okay, down there. Why is it all the way here? Okay, there it is. Oh my god. Come out of here. There we go. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Who you all you think you're just the enemy, enemy. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. We got the juice, we got the juice. Totally forgot I had a Maximus over here. Let me switch that off. Okay, now let me put that preset on for strings. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Who you all you think you're just the enemy, enemy? We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. So you can hear how the backups are now sounding pleasing and they sound like they've been doubled without doing any physical doubling. They're now playing in both uh, the sides of you know of the the headphones or the speakers if you you know are playing through speakers so they sound like real backups so now i don't have to do this with every backup vocal there is i just throw it into the backup channel and then the backups will sound like backups and have the mixing of the backups and the lead vocal as well is going to sound like a lead vocal uh, perfectly so even if we get to the Hennessy, Hennessy. I'll be sipping on the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. I'll be sipping on the Henny, Tupac Shakur, I'm a Cavalli, eating this, the steak so this way it makes it sounds as if he he he's, he's performed or rapped the chorus and then he continued into the verse without stopping so you don't feel like that whole uh, multiple take effect uh when when you're listening to this track it just sounds like he went the whole way one take in through the track so that's basically how you can the juice it. we got the juice we got the hand then what you want to do now is now mix the vocals against the beat just mixing the vocals on their own is done now we have to mix them against the beat to make sure that they sit nicely and they're in a nice place so firstly what i had done with the beat here was just add um some some low and high cut just to trim out you know the sides like i usually do and then what i want to do is add an eq and try and block out some mid-range so my vocal can just come across nicely and i'm not going to cut so much out of it we got the juice, we got the juice, we got the... 
And as you can see, this beat is clipping. I just need to lower that. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. And I also need to lower my master vocal channel so that I lower all the vocals. Now I'm tr now I'm doing gain staging. This is now the gain staging part of this track where I'm now trying to make room for the mastering to occur. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. There we go. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Who you all you think this is the enemy, enemy? We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the Hennessy. I'll be sipping on the Henny. Tupa Shakur. I make a belly. Eating this. To stay in my. Okay, that's good enough because this beat already has some mixing and mastering uh, done on it already. So I actually have a soft clip already on there. I'll just reset this and go on default. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Who you all you think this is the enemy, enemy? We got so I have some nice headroom to play around with here. So now what I can do is I can add an EQ. We got the check juice, out my we frequencies. Got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Who you all you think this is the enemy, enemy? We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice. So I want the, the main juice, vocals to stick Hennessy, out. So I'm raising the main vocals. The and lowering the back I'm like of the belly, eating this to stay in my belly. I love my food, I love my jelly. Damn, I'm getting better with a punchline. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Could just gonna raise some of that mid range. Just the enemy, enemy. And to add a little bit more bass, I'm just gonna raise a little bit of the bass section and lower a little bit of the low mid. We got the juice, we got the juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Lower a little bit of the high end. You think you're just the enemy, enemy. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy. So I don't want to compress uh, this master. I don't want to do anything to it because the beat is already processed and the vocals are already processed. So this is just applying the vocals to the beat instead of doing so much. So all I just now have to do is add a limiter and just make sure that the whole track is loud enough. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. Who you all you think you're just the enemy, enemy? We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got. And that's good enough because now we're peaking at zero dB. So now I'm gonna play this track without this. We got the juice. We got the juice. We got Sounds the Hennessy, like this, Hennessy. Sounds like this. Who you all you think you're just the enemy, enemy? We got the Hennessy, Hennessy. You just the enemy, enemy. We got the juice. We got the. Juice. Juice, we got the Hennessy, Hennessy. I'll be sipping on the Henny. And there you have it. That's exactly how you can do this without having to worry about using so many plugins. I've just used only native FL Studio plugins, and that's how you can actually make vocals sound good on a track. So that was mixing and mastering of vocals. I hope you find this really helpful. Let me know down in the comments how you do this and if you think this is great and you love how I did it in this video. If you have questions, leave them down below. I'll answer them as, as much as I can. If you like this video, leave a like. If you're new here, subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. I'm going to check you guys out in my next video. I am X and I'm out. Peace.